Hello, this is just a quick review for the Smurfs Dream on PS5. There's a demo there to um, download, that's what I'm doing now, playing the demo. Um, it's not that long, but basic premise is that Gargamel's put everybody to sleep, so you've got to go into the dream world, which is where you're able to do like the platforming. So you can tell it's just like a basic game but the playability is there um, so you go here to the first level um, you're swimming around in space and then you head to that first uh, chef dream it's like uh, chef smurf it's his dream so that's why it's all cakes and stuff because you're actually in the dream of the chef who's been put to sleep so then you've got to come here and rescue him but the levels are massive like you do get a lot of playability out of one level and um, there's always a multiple like things to do as well there's like a couple of different um i wouldn't say there's not different paths to go because you've got to keep going the same way but there is three or four different um areas you need to explore if you want to find everything sometimes you need to get a key in order to get through a locked padlock to get through like a door or something um or sometimes it's just basically you're trying to collect something because as you can see at the top i've got five golden um shamrocks to get or four leaf clovers there's another one at the top there and um, you've got to find them and then there's blue mushrooms you need to collect as well there's like there's a there's a few things you can collect uh, the enemies are very simple you just jump and land on the head um, but apart from that like there's no real instruction of what you need to do so that's why you need to go around exploring everywhere because um, you might get stuck if you just you know can't figure out where like how to get past the bit you're stuck on it's because you haven't explored the whole level yet and there'll be a key or something that you have to find in order to uh, get like past the bit you're stuck on but it's still enjoyable to play it's not um too frustrating i mean there's some parts of it where you'll get stuck um but that's just because you haven't really thought about what you need to do and um, like there you hold r1 and these like pull out but you can hold r1 for longer and they'll pull out further but i didn't uh, realize that at the time but you pull them out further it helps you get up and then they retract themselves after a while this is another level i was um talking about in the dream sequence where can you see on the floor there's those like bales of hair well they didn't exist in the level it's only through the reflection of the glass that you see like the reflection on the mirror that you actually see what you need to do so that's quite an interesting thing but sometimes the perspective is uh confusing like you need to jump towards something but in the mirrored world you're jumping away from it so it like you get muddled up a bit and you might jump off a few platforms by accident um but <clears throat> it just reminds us of those old-fashioned wait i'm saying old-fashioned like 90s early 2000s style platforming games where you know the, the graphics are sufficient the sound's sufficient this one's got the added bonus of being like um a well-known licensed mar uh, trademarked like property like the smurfs it's not just like a random character i mean this game would still be quite good if it was just a, a random like made-up character but the fact that you're a licensed like smurf it just gives it that extra little bit of fun factor um it's the same wall games like this where it's just simple but addictive you know like the gameplay the graphics are okay like i said they're sufficient for today's gaming you know you've got decent sound de decent music and um, the buttons aren't too hard but they're not just so simple where you just jump and hit you have got actually extra buttons to press uh, to solve the different puzzles you can like sprint and stuff like that um <clears throat> so that's it really it's a free demo there to download um i would definitely go and check it out because uh, like i said even if you don't have kids or they're not into smurfs you can always like play it yourself and just get some enjoyment out of it because it's not too challenging as an adult you can actually 
get past it and do the do the um, the puzzles and stuff. So it's not that difficult to do, but I think kids will enjoy it as well. Um, even if they are, like I said, not a fan of the Smurfs, I think they will still enjoy it because it's not too hard. And it's free to download this month, so you may as well go and get it while you can. Um, I think it's only available for the, for this month. So or for, it might be just for a week or two. I don't really know how long it'll be there. So I would just go and get it as soon as you can. Um, but it's one of those games where you, you'll want to keep playing because it's, like I said, it's easy enough to get past, but it's difficult enough to get stuck. So it, it's got that gameplay factor that a lot of games have lost, I think, nowadays. Um, a lot of games don't have that. It's all about just having these ray tracing graphics and all the best <coughs> visually looking stuff, but the gameplay is not there. Whereas this is one of those games where you do actually have fun and you can look past like the early graphics just to play the actual gameplay. But you've got nothing to lose. It's a free demo this month, so you may as well go and check it out. The Smurfs, a dream, or Smurfs Dreams, I think it's called. So yeah, that's it really. Just a simple game, but lots of gameplay and lots of fun. So that's it. See ya.